Well, a few months ago, we started our Ask Michael section on our website, and we've had some fabulous emails since then asking all sorts of gardening questions. Now, I have a letter here from Amanda, and she writes, Dear Michael, I want something which smells lovely when I'm entertaining guests outside. What plants would you recommend? Well, Amanda, I'm going to start right here in our garden, and I've got the best plant for you. It's a port wine magnolia. Now, I'm using mine as a bit of a screen. In other words, screening one garden room from the other. They love being clipped, but you should only do that after they finish flowering. And they're flowering right now. They really start in around about September and can go right through until November. Now, you may think it's called port wine magnolia because the colour of the flower, but that is only half the story. The fragrance is just like smelling a beautiful, bottle of vintage port. It is just glorious and the more you prune it and look after it, the more flowers you'll get. Daphne are another highly scented plant that are pretty easy to grow in your garden. There's several varieties to choose from so pop into your local nursery and have a good look at those. Everybody knows jasmine are very highly scented but beware they can get away from you in the garden so after flowering a tight cut back. The one I like, but some people find too perfumed, is the jasmine and polyanthemum, and that comes out in early spring. And a word of warning though, with most jasmines, when they finish flowering, cut them back or they'll take over the garden. The orange jessamine, or Morea paniculata, is again really up there as one of my favourites. It can be pruned, it can be let go, or it can be shaped into any form you wish. And the perfume is just exquisite. And then gardenias, well, any self-respecting garden wouldn't be without a gardenia, either in a pot or in the garden. And a plant I've just rediscovered is the beautiful sweet pea. Haven't grown them for years, but this year they've been quite spectacular. Easy to grow, simply plant them out around St Patrick's Day, either in a pot or again against a wall where they can grow up. They come into flower early spring and their wafty perfume just sweeps throughout the garden. The wisteria is mainly known for its beautiful racemes or flowers, but it also, in some cases, has a beautiful perfume. So check those out as well. Now, if you have a question, head to our website and follow the links to Ask Michael. And I'll answer as many as I can, and maybe, like Maria, even call in one day for a cup of coffee and a chat. <laughs>